You're single, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. The white boy, Mr. Stuber, <laughs> Mr. J.R. Stuber. We gotta uh, address this little topic, this little we situation. We do. J.R. made a video and he asked, he was like, can I take your sister on a date? All right guys, so we're recording this super late, so we gotta shh, be quiet. It's like 12. Shout out to Gemini for filming with me before I leave. Uh, I don't even have a video to post tomorrow, so hopefully I can post this, but. If y'all don't know, I came home for about three days. I'm actually gonna update y'all about my life before Gemini gets into her life. So I came home on Monday, um, the first, wait, is it the first? Yeah. 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 I came home Monday um, and I came home for a few reasons. I thought it was a good time to leave because it was the end of the month. I needed to get my hair done. So that's why it's a little short. I just got it repermed. I didn't film it. And then I had to go to a doctor's appointment, get some medicine. And I really just wanted to come home. And I think it was a good time. Like I, I feel super motivated. I came here. Every time I leave, go somewhere, it always motivates me. So that, I think that's why I like traveling a lot. But uh, I just spent time with my grandma. I saw her, you know, she's doing okay. Her husband passed away, so she's kind of alone. But I try to talk her up and, you know, get her a little motivated, open her mind a little bit. And if y'all don't know, I think I'm gonna do a video about it too. But Angel crashed on Monday. It's a really traumatic thing. And I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, but that happened. So this has been a quite a bit while whole week kind <laughs> yeah. of thing. But tomorrow I'm going back home and I'm ready to get back on my grind and work harder. Um, but I'm here with Gemini. Hi guys. Do you want to update any them about y'all? Um, one thing that I do want to start, Gemini is doing YouTube. She's been posting. So if you guys could do me a favor, you support me, support my sister too. She's trying to post on YouTube. Uh, I gave her my editor. All she got to do is film, you know? She got the setup. She just got to follow the blueprint, you, you like know? Setup? I do, this I like it. This is my it. filming off. Yeah. I think you should film like this, to be honest. Really? I like this. Like, I'll film a video every day right here if I could. But <laughs> yeah, you got the blueprint. You know what to do. Um, so you just got to film. But um, go subscribe to her. She's trying to get monetized. And you, you know, monetize so is close. like whenever you can start getting paid from YouTube. You got to get 4,000 watch hours, which is like 240,000 minutes of people watching your videos. But yeah, how you been? Update them. So before we start, though, my bad. We got McDonald's. I got a McFlurry, Oreos, and uh m ms and then tell me you know. i got a caramel frap with two chocolate chip cookies i love the cookies so i had a good time but how you been mm, oh my god a lot has happened mm -hmm. a lot okay so let's update y'all on like my career wise stuff so this week actually wait what's today i got Good. hired i got hired i got a new job basically and i got hired this week they're paying me what I want, so yeah, I got a new job. It's going pretty good, I actually really like it. Um, I used to, so to daycare, and we actually used to go there when we were younger. But yeah, I worked there, it's pretty nice, I like it. It's not bad or anything, I, pretty, I like it, it's pretty chill right now. It's crazy, I was talking to Miss Tina. It's crazy that Jim and I went here, and she works here now, like, yeah. who would have ever thought? She was like, we were talking today, she was like, I can't believe, like, you're an adult. She was like, I still see you, like, when you're younger. She was like, you're the same person, but just, like, an adult now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, I wasn't working for, like, a month and a half. Well, like, I was working, like, I was making money, but, like, I wasn't, like, doing the actual job, you know what I mean? Like, I was, like, watching other people's kids and, like, stuff like that. Like side jobs. Yeah, side jobs. Mm. Talking about that though. Ugh. Let's start with the first thing. Right. You're single, right? <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I'm single. Um, for the rest of the year. Yes. No, for two years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until I'm 21. Well, maybe after, so I can party for my 21. You know. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm single. I decided that the best fit for me was to be single like i was just going through a lot of stuff that i don't really want to talk about like i, I hope you learned that's the biggest thing experience guys, is the best teacher yeah and i hope you learned yeah right? 
I learned a lot. I learned so much, but no, I'm in a better place now. I don't feel like I'm not sad or anything. I mean, I have my days where I'm like, you know, but I feel like I do so much better being alone. Than being with a bum. Because I'm gonna tell you one thing. Whoever you spend your most time around is who you gonna become. Yeah. Um, yeah. That ain't no man, I'm gonna tell you that. Mm -hmm. It's a little boy. Yeah, guys, so. Just a lot of crazy stuff happened and just a lot of childish stuff. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm too old. Like, I'm not old, but like, I'm getting older. Like, I'm growing. Like, Tonight's grown, though. Yeah. She grown, like. I am grown. Tonight, she grown. Yeah, so it's like, I don't have time for any. But now you got a new job, you leveled up, you're getting paid more. Mm -hmm. It's easier. Oh, this year, this year. <laughs> This year's gonna be something else. But yeah, I'm single. I'm pretty happy right now too. Guys, I have a lot of friends. I feel like that's like the main thing. That is a good thing. You need to have a lot of friends, whether it's guy friends, girlfriends, like my- Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wouldn't say you need to have a lot of friends. I was listening to this podcast today about, it's not even about friends. You just need to have social interactions. That too, yeah. Like it, it was this study, like people interacting, like talking. If you don't talk to people, for like a certain amount of time, it's as detrimental to your health as smoking a pack of cigarettes every day. Damn. If you have no social communication with people, like if you're not interacting with human beings, because this is the beginning of the time we've always been hanging around with each like talking. Yeah. Being, we all connect. We had tribes, communities on that. So it's really bad for your brain and your body and your mind. And like, you could really get sick from not interacting with people. That's why whenever I told grandma, I like, grandma, you gotta talk to someone. You can't just stay here and not talk to nobody. Yeah. I was, that's why I told her, I was like, you could talk to me. I'm here all the time. I don't work. I don't got a job. I don't got nothing. I could take 15 minutes to talk to you every day. On the phone, yeah. That is a good point, though, that you do have a lot. You networking, you're open, your circle. Yeah. And a lot of my friends, I feel like they're all good people. Like, they always bring up my energy, and that's what, like, people you need. So I have, like, a good support team. I have my family. My family's so amazing. My brothers, like. No, that's I good. As long like, as you got good people in your corner. Yeah. Because um, whoever you're around the most is who you become. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. You don't got to remove people, but you got to limit the mm -hmm. bad people, you know? Yep. Or the bad energy, too. You know? Oh, yeah. Last year, I limited so many people. Anyways, um, my health. Oh, my God, guys. All right, let's get to the that. main juicy thing. Yeah. Let's get straight to it. The breast talk. Okay, yeah. So, everyone's, like, been texting me, like, oh, also, yeah, I just want to say, a lot of people have been texting me, but I want to say, like, thank you to everyone that's, like, sending me, like, sweet messages and, like, advice and stuff like that. And they've been asking me for an update, which, honestly, I haven't had time because, honestly... She's been trying to get her life back on track, you know? Yeah, guys. She got thrown off track. Yeah. I, now you got to get back on track. Yeah, pretty much. But now, um, I actually haven't gone for an appointment to go get a checkup. I'm actually going to go with my mom. So my mom actually has to go get an appointment as well. So we're going to go together so she could see, like, you know, exactly what they're talking about. Because, like, when I go to, like, I go to the doctors alone now. And it's like, I don't really know. Like, I do know what they're saying, but it's like, it's just better that my mom's there because she's on the same Film track. It. Film it so you can show mom. Okay, yeah. That's why I do this shit, so I can film my life. No, but the see. first time, like, oh, and like, ask I, questions too. When like, I went to the OBGYN, they I'll be let at, me like, film. whenever, huh? They didn't let me film at the OBGYN. Tell them it's for yourself, because you forget. They can't tell you you can't yeah, film. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that appointment was so weird. <laughs> And just tell them, like, it's for me, it's for my mom. Like, she she wants to see what, what like, she's Curious, just making an yeah. excuse. You know what I'm saying? They they can't tell you no. You pay to go see, like, they... Oh, yeah, you do pay. I have like, to pay $60. Bro, think about all the things that Karens get away with. Like, Karen, like, bro, I was at Target. No, I don't want I was at Target, and this lady, too, yelling and screaming just because she wanted to skip in line. And guess what? She got to skip in line because she asked for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask for things, like... Closed mouth don't get fed. That's my line. I keep saying it. Got it. So many people say it, but closed mouth don't get fed. You can film anything you want. So my mom's gonna come with me, but when I went, I went when I went to the OBGYN appointment. The lady like checked everything. I took like a urine test, whatever. I also got my blood results back, but I'm not going there until I get my results back from the like MRI, like on my breast. But when I went to the OBGYN appointment, I told like I told my doctor and I was like, hey, like can you check my breast, whatever? And she started like touching me. She she checked it before she checked anything else, and she was like, oh yeah, like I can feel them. Like she looked at me like, oh my god, like you need to go, you know? Because I had told her before I told her to check me that I had an appointment. 
she's like, yeah, you need to go. So she felt something? Yeah, she was like that. Like, it, she, she told me, she's like, it seems odd. She was like, but I would just go to the doctor, see what they say. She's like, go to your appointment, see what they say. But when I was taking a urine test, I was asking, asking the girl, I was like, hey, like, um, do y'all check, like, do y'all do MRI scans for, like, boobs here or whatever? She was like, oh, no. She was like, do they hurt? And I was like, yeah. She was like, do you drink a lot of coffee? And I told her, I was like, yes. And she was like, it's probably that. Actually, that happened to me. And, you know, I was drink. um, whenever I was drinking a lot of G Fuel, my chest was hurting and it felt like there was, like, something sticking out. I actually went to the doctor for that. He told me the exact same thing. Too much caffeine. Oh. No, honestly, it probably is. Nah, for real, it, it was bad. Like I felt like no, I heard. Yeah. I felt like my heart was like pumping out of my chest, like pushing. Yeah, it actually feels like little like I don't know, like ro not rocks, but like little balls in your like. Chest. And it hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. It feels like. It might be. It might be a sign oh, yeah. that caffeine is not good for our honestly, family. Honestly, guys, honestly, not gonna even lie right now. I drink an excessive amount of coffee. Like it's so bad. Like I have coffee in the refrigerator, like iced coffee, every week, like every single week. And if I don't have it in there, I go buy some. Like it's so bad. I need. I'm drinking coffee right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, she told me that it might be caffeine. But well, try it. Stop for like a week and see, like. It's gonna be hard to stop, but see if if the pain goes away or something. If see any difference, because I know it's whenever I stop, that shit stop hurting. Away. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm waiting for my mom to schedule um, her appointment so I can schedule like the same date as her, or she's probably gonna schedule it for me to be honest with y'all. But yeah, so I'm just waiting on results. Well, I'm just waiting on getting a, like getting an appointment. So whenever I get an appointment, I will update you guys. But honestly. I mean, it hurts. Like I said in the previous video, it still hurts like sometimes, but like, I don't know. But I feel like when it hurts now, it hurts a little bit worse than before. Like I can feel it a little bit more, but I mean, we just have to go into it. But yeah, other than that, oh, my mental health, let's see. My mental health is pretty good. Pretty good. I feel like I'm gonna, right now, especially cause it's, two months before our birthday i feel like my mentality right now is just Damn, like, I didn't even think about go that. hard like go hard until for me i just think about a three month like term so like after oh, march yeah. then i'm yeah after march i'll probably start thinking Honestly, about my birthday kind of is three months because we're at the end <laughs> <laughs> well yeah but at, at march i'll probably start thinking about summer and shit but right now i'm just thinking about <laughs> right now, right now yeah. next thing so I haven't really seen too many comments about it, maybe on TikTok, but let's just go over the the white boy, Mr. Stuber, <laughs> Mr. J.R. Stuber. We gotta uh, address this little topic, this little we situation. Do. We do. Um, so J.R. made a video and he asked, he was like, can I take your sister on a date? So, I'm just, I just want you to clear it up on my channel too. And I just want to hear from your mouth. What is the situation between you and Jara? Guys, so let me just get this situated and like 100% truth and like, you know. Um, me and Jara, we are just friends. Like Jara's not my type, one. Two, Jara's like younger than me and I would never yeah that is kind of I would never go, is younger than I would never go that low like that's just me though like I would never go that low like never three he's just not my type like I if you saw my other boyfriends like I just like I would never picture Gemini's me. boyfriends are always like thuggy or Hispanic and like that Julian calling me out <laughs> <laughs> no for real though no, most yeah. of the time they're ugly yeah <laughs> I make them look cute. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nah, for no, real. but um, yeah, no, me and JR, we're not like that. All the, like, to be honest with y'all, all the content that we film, it's because JR wants to, like, do Entertain. It. Yeah, JR wants to entertain y'all because, yeah. But no, me and JR are cool. He's cool. And are you going to go on a date with him? I'm not going on a date with JR. I would not go on a date with him. <laughs> I'll take myself on a date before I go on a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, nah, no. in that video, I told Jared, like, bro, you need to just go on Tinder, bro. 
if, if, no, the only, if the only thing you can do <laughs> is try to me. go on a date with my sister, bro, you, you, you low, bro. Like, you can't find nobody else. Like, you gotta go for me and through my sources and my people's. Like, yeah, I know. Just go on Tinder, bro. No, That's guys, what I told like, him. Not even that. Like, me, I, I'd never talk to any of my brother's friends. <clears throat> you would never catch me doing that. Like, I'm not yeah. that type of girl. So. I don't know what Jared was thinking, but. I don't know. Come on, Somebody man. needs to come get this man because he ain't mine. <laughs> mm -mm. No, Jerry's my son, guys. But I just <laughs> wanted to clear that up in case y'all yeah. seen some videos or TikToks or anything. Um, it's all for fun. Yeah. Shit. Y'all y'all are supposed to be coming down for spring oh, break. Oh, yeah, guys. Like... So I'm going to visit Jolene again. Me yeah. and my friend. Um, also, my little brother's there with me with his friend, but they're going to come with us. But anyways, that's not the point. But still, we're all gonna go visit Julian for spring break, so I'm really excited. So you gonna go to the club? Yes, I'm gonna take her to a club. So if y'all know any clubs, let me know. And Angel's friend, his name's Mario. Me and Angel and Mario are gonna go to the studio. Um, Mario, he like to rap and stuff, and like I think he's smooth with it. Like I think he's cool. Like really, like I feel like if somebody just gave him an opportunity and he just practiced more, like I think he could be. A, he sound kind of like. Uh, Apollo G. Really? Yeah, he raps on Apollo G. I've heard one of his like. And he always be talking about mm. goats and stuff. And Apollo G always be rapping about goats. Like that's one of mm. his. It's crazy. They really do be sounding <laughs> well, like Apollo G. Um, but we're getting a we're booking a studio session for him. We're working with uh, this one guy. His name's like uh, I forgot. But he worked with a few artists. He worked with NBA YoungBoy, you know. So I just wanted to put him in a, in a good platform, good situation, have a fun night. We're gonna be in the studio for like two hours. It's gonna be good vibes. See if we can record a song. Let me know if y'all want me to vlog that. I feel like that would be. That'd I be might fine. do that on my second channel. That'd be a vibe. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to ask y'all. I want to put out more content, bro. Like I do so many things, and it's just I feel like I can make a video about anything. But I don't want to flood this channel with two videos. So I'm thinking about posting once a day on two channels like posting like maybe i don't know I'm, i need to see on youtube like because i don't want it to hurt other videos like if i post a really good video and it's doing good and then i post another video that day and, and then youtube might try to push the other video instead of the other video mm. so i don't know i might do two channels i might do one channel but i really just want to start double uploading and putting out more videos but if y'all want to do the um studio session vlog or whatever Shit, I might record it, who knows? It's gonna be lit, we're going to do spring break, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I gotta figure out when to go to spring break because we're supposed to travel for her spring break. Oh. I think we might go to San Diego. It's random nice. as hell. Yeah. But I wanted to go to the zoo, we wanted to go to the Ooh, zoo. Mario told me the zoo is nice over there. Yeah, I've been there. I've been to the San Diego Zoo, it's lit. But anything else you wanna get off your chest? Hmm. But yeah, guys, so like I said, for our birthday, I don't know what we should do, but Julian's turning 21. Yeah, I'm not, like, once I turn 21, I'm not going to ever keep track of my birthday, though. Like, after 21, I'm not... We're over it. <laughs> nah, for real, though, because, like, my, this is out some out-of-the-box, open-mind shit, but, like, the only way you know you're, you're a certain age is because you tell yourself you're that age every year. Like, imagine, imagine you never celebrate your birthday, but you're not going to know how old you is. It's so like you'll probably never age ever like you because you can oh, you've yeah, been conditioned mindset, you've been yeah. conditioned since you were one like every year you got to tell yourself oh i'm getting older mm -hmm. i'm getting older i'm getting older i'm getting older and it's gonna make you your mind and your mouth is powerful that's why i always like i told grandma like stop saying i'm old like yeah, whatever old. you tell your body is what's gonna happen you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like so like after 21 i don't yeah. think i'm gonna celebrate my birthday anymore Shit. Like, I'm just gonna pick a random day and I'm gonna call it a me day. Mm. Just my day. Like, it's all about me. That's a good one. Everybody else, y'all can call it my birthday, but it's just gonna be a me day. And I can pick whenever I want. But, I'm, but it's just, think about it. Since you're 19, every single year you've been telling yourself you're getting older. I mean, I don't say I'm getting older. But your, bra yeah. your brain does. Yeah, you're right. Like, subconsciously, you know? I don't know, it's just a different perspective to think about. Cause shit, I've been looking the same since like, <laughs> since like what? I think like freshman year. No, not freshman year. Like 18. Mm-hmm. I've been looking the same. Yeah, you have. So it's like, if I don't tell myself I'm getting older then. Yeah, you do. You know? You do look the same. But, but. but yeah, I think this year too, I might try to grow up. I might try. 
maybe a mustache or grow some facial hair or something just to try different things yeah. but yeah the only reason why i want to turn 21 too is i can i can legally own a club mm. cannabis i can go to the shooting range i can rent cars i can rent hotels i ain't got nobody can tell me no that's the only reason why i want to be 21. i can gamble so after that i'm staying 21. Wait, just like mom I, that's why i really like when mom yeah. always say she's 29 because of her mind like her body like 29 you know like there's a lot of people that are like 35 i've been reading people always say like they still feel they got the same mindset or they still feel like as yeah. if they were young mm -hmm. yeah you need to have that mindset that is because if you tell yourself you're old you tell yourself you're gonna feel old mm -hmm. like you're gonna get old yeah and that's what i try to tell grandma like yo stop with all this i'm sad i'm depressed stop saying you are like get that shit out of your head like stop saying it you know what i'm saying yeah. we shouldn't even be in your brain like like just stop you know what i'm saying don't think about anxiety don't think about like out of sight out of mind you know like have a positive mindset always well not even that just delete it from your brain like it's not gonna be in your head if you're thinking about it yeah the more you think about it the more it's gonna be there like i don't know what i had for breakfast five days ago you know what i'm saying but if Me i either. if i tracked what i had for breakfast if i always thought about what i eat for breakfast obviously it's gonna be in my yeah, head yeah. if you don't have that thing in your head it's not gonna be there you know so you just gotta not think about it wait so Jen, um since you came back like from houston have you noticed like any changes like in gina yeah that fool's more aware like like first the world used to be like like it was just his world now he gets reactions from the world like now he knows like he's part of the world now mm. like we share a world with him like i'll do something and he'll react to it like oh, yeah he's not in his own world like da, da, no, no. like <laughs> you know like he, he if i go like this on the bed he's probably gonna jump on the bed you yeah. know like he knows like he reacts Jan's growing up too he's about to be two yes oh my god yeah he really is about to be two <gasps> But I think That's, Jim's doing good. He's, he's super smart. Yeah, really. he's smart. He's in, like he's intelligent. It blows my mind. Like, That's one thing I am happy about, and that's why I'm happy about him going to daycare because he's just gonna be exposed to more and. It's gonna be smart as No, and hell. you know, honestly, the kids at the daycare are super smart. Bro. Like, yeah. Like, the two-year-olds in his class, like, some of them know how to talk. <laughs> and, like, two-year-olds, they know how to talk, but, like, barely. Yeah, like, Gian, he thing. just blabbered. He be, like, saying, like, hey, or, like, random ass. Or he'll say, like, mine, or, like, no. Or he says, what? He oh, says, but when we're, I was walking around the neighborhood, <clears> and he was like, he saw somebody he kept saying, hey, hey. Yeah, like hey. Gian waves to everyone, guys. Like yeah. every single person. He's so yeah. funny. He's yeah. hilarious. But now I really think he's going to be smart. So Gian, Gian is You know what he one. does? He goes in the mirror, like my little mirror, and he like talks to himself and like shows the mirror like what he has. And like on mom's phone too. I'm happy because I feel like Gian going to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Gia yeah, Gia's so smart. Yeah, I don't even like know. when he turned like seven, eight. I'm gonna have him on the control, playing, <laughs> vlogging, talking. Gian's gonna be lit. Like y'all gonna know Gian. Gian's gonna be a prodigy of me. He's gonna be like I swear, Gian vlogs already. Mom, no, whenever he mom sent me that clip of oh, him yeah. putting down she the phone and showing me his toys, I was like damn like all social media is, is documenting your life so he already documenting he don't even know it yet like yeah, that's just really like <sighs> blew my mind he's really smart yeah we just gotta go up and I, one thing though i do think everybody in this house needs to get a car yeah that's one thing because everybody got a car shit this is gonna make things go a lot smoother a lot faster you're gonna get a lot of places yeah bigger and better things but Mm, I think that's it, guys. A little catch up before Jordan uh, yeah. goes back. Yeah, a little update. I'm gonna leave probably early tomorrow, to be honest. I want to get back to working and grinding. And I want to check the new merch samples. The merch samples mm -hmm. are waiting for me over there, so I gotta get them checked out. I have work tomorrow, guys. Go see Rosa. I'm, I'm glad to go back. Every time I come here, though, I, I leave more motivated. This city goes sideways. There's no going up. That's how I feel. Here, it's just like. I like the weather, it's calm, it's comfortable, but you don't get nowhere staying comfortable. You know, you gotta be uncomfortable and mm -hmm. go to where you feel comfortable. Well, yo guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you, Gemini. You're welcome. I think I'm gonna come every month. I think that's gonna be my new rule. At the end of the month, I'll come. That's gonna be mm -hmm. my thing. Probably for a weekend, though. Yeah. So everybody's not busy. But adios, guys. Bye.